En question. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Président, please be seated. The court is now back in session. Before we adjourned for lunch, it was about the opportunity given to lead co lawyers for the civil parties to la pause déjeuner, put some questions. La parole allait être donné aux principaux pour les partis civils pour qu'ils puissent poser leurs questions. Avant de leur donner la parole, la Pond va se prononcer concernant la situation de Cusson. Comme déjà indiqué, la Chambre entend respecter pleinement And les différents droits qui sont reconnus the chamber notes aux accusés that, uh, we have examined the reports dans ce by the medical doctors nous avons examiné le rapport d'expertise médicale and that this afternoon we also need to conduct a hearing concerning the severance d'examiner la question de la disjonction The chamber will issue the decision in due course. La chambre rendra sa However, décision en temps having utile. notified the parties uh, concerning dit, uh, this, uh, we did not receive the waiver by the accused alors as que yet, la but recently we obtained such waiver from le document de renonciation de l'accusé. Ce document n'a été he communiqué à la Chambre que tout récemment. L'accusé a dit être fatigué et connaître des problèmes and de concentration. The that nature, and it is Il s'agit là up to his de questions techniques to the site uh, along with uh, Mr. Kilson Pond on this and we therefore respect uh, his Pond. full right. Uh, the chamber would like to ask that security officers and uh, personnel are now bringing Mr. Kilson Pond back to his detention facility and the proceedings here before us continue. Legal lawyers for the civil parties, you may now proceed. Council fait droit um, à la demande thank you, de Mr. President and your honors. lequel doit être reconduit au centre de détention. La parole like est au quoi vous êtes principaux. Maître Pic Hang, c'est Maître Hong Kim Soon qui posera des questions. Il sera suivi de Maître Simon. Le Président, merci. Council Hong Kim Soon, vous pouvez maintenant procéder. Le Président, merci. Allez-y, Maître Hong Kim Soon. Thank you, Mr. President and your honors. Maître Hong Kim Soon. And good afternoon, merci. Dr. Bonjour. John Campbell and Dr. Sina Fazel. I am Hong Kong Soon. I am here representing civil parties and I have very few questions to put to you concerning your report. I have listened very carefully to the questions put by Judge Cartwright to you concerning your report concerning E256 que vous avez four. établi And lequel porte la cote E256 bar 4 noted in your final conclusion concerning the health condition of Mr. Yang Sri and that you concluded uh, that he is fit du rapport, vous dites que my question to you is est apte à être jugé. to you 
to your opinion or observation what is the difference between having Mr. Nguyen Chia be present in the courtroom si and est his dans being le present uh, in the holding cell si and what would be the consequences otherwise? Quelle est la différence et quelles seront les répercussions de chacun de ces cas de figure I'm not sure réponse. we can answer that question. Je ne suis pas um, sûr que from a medical perspective, à um, we've made our medical, um, views clear in our report, um, and that we can only reiterate the fact that we don't see any reason a why Nunchia cannot be present in the holding cell. But further than temporaire. that, I, I, I can't comment. Je ne peux pas en dire davantage. Are you questioning whether he should be in the court here, prison, si or in the holding cell? He is much more comfortable lying flat. Il est bien plus à that would be difficult in the court here. Or, dans le est difficile. Mm. Council. Question. I may wish to ask this follow-up question. If Mr. Nunchia were to be question de suivi. brought into the courtroom, si would that help him être physically, dans le for example, by allowing him to be more active when he has to move from downstairs, upstairs, for example? For par example, if he has to move du sous-sol à l'étage supérieur. I can't see that it would Réponse. improve Je the situation. Je ne vois pas comment ça pourrait améliorer la situation. Passons, Marcon. Council, thank you. Question. You already testified uh, before this chamber and also reiterated in your report that Vous avez déjà Mr. Nguyen Chia when remains in detention facility rapport, tends to que quand lie Chia back and centre, that you observe because he remains motionless like that he likes some activity to keep him active do you believe that by bringing him into the courtroom helps him si do some exercise? Or is it to understand that uh, well, having him in the holding cell does not make any difference because he doesn't do any exercise? Or I cannot see that bringing him into the courtroom here would increase his exercise, uh, his activity uh, really at all. It needs a program when the court is not in session. Je ne pense pas que cela plus actif s'il devait être amené dans le prétoire. Il a besoin d'un programme d'activité physique hors audience. Vassam Akun. Counsel, thank you. Question. Can you please also tell the chamber What would be best uh, for Mr. Nguyen Chia when sitting up or lying down? I mean, uh, between the two. Préférable rather. pour Nguyen Chia de s'allonger ou de rester assis? At this stage, he seems much more comfortable stade, lying down. I don't think that's what he'd prefer. It's difficult to get him sitting up for any length of time. Il est à l'aise de rester allongé. C'est ce qu'il préfère. Il lui est difficile de se relever pour des périodes prolongées. Ma Akun. Council, thank you. Have you provided any uh, advice uh, to his health, for example, by asking him to do more exercises? Par exemple, en lui proposant de faire davantage d'exercices. Sorry, I'm not clear about the question. Je ne suis pas sûr d'avoir compris la question.
I was asking you that uh, uh, indeed uh, when he lies down a lot, uh, then his si health is not good. Allongé, Have you done something si to santé. ask him, for Dans example, contexte, to uh, be more active physically so that his health improves? Physiquement, de façon à améliorer no, son I've not been santé. seeing him in, uh, in terms of trying to improve his health. What I'm suggesting non. is that he needs a program of physical exercise to try and increase his muscle strength and his stability. And that would need to be a planned program taking into consideration his other health problems. It's not something that can be dealt with in a very short time. It needs to be sustained over a period. Council. Question. Thank you. You have examined his health condition. And with that, I would like uh, to ask a question Comme vous avez whether examiné, Nguyen Chi has ever told Chia, you that he would like someone to give him a massage. J'aimerais savoir s'il vous a parfois indiqué qu'il aimerait qu'on no, lui fasse not discussed un massage. massage. With him. Réponse. Non, je n'ai pas parlé de massage avec lui. Council, thank you. Question. In your conclusion, you indicated that uh, you have no recommendation for a change. And I refer to your report in paragraph 49, which you state in that you said Therefore, we would not recommend any changes to court proceedings in relation to the timing of sessions, dans la durée which des we understand are no longer than 90 minutes. With that, do we understand that uh, Mr. Nunjia can remain in the court proceedings for 90 minutes? minutes? Well, that was our feeling after having examined him on a number of occasions for periods for longer than 90 minutes. Après l'avoir examiné plusieurs fois pendant plus de 90 minutes. Council, thank you. At paragraph 44. Au paragraph 44. You also write that he said, Vous it means les referring to Nguyen Chia, he would be willing to be physically present in court Je cite, and speak, il est prêt but thinks that his health would not allow him to do so. Mais and il pense he said que that he would be willing to give evidence on video il link il and would prefer to do so from the detention center as he becomes dizzy if moved de to the court. Quand il vient dans le bâtiment où ont lieu les audiences. My question to you regarding this question, what would be the remedy in place to help him to deal with the situation when he feels dizzy? Quelle solution well, I être uh, um, we referred previously de to the fact that he Réponse. would, um, we would recommend that he be given Nous 15 to 30 minutes to settle after he's moved to the holding cell. Um, that would be one remedy. Après the second remedy is that if he complains of pain in his back or his waist, that he be offered um, oral paracetamol. Il pourrait prendre par and, oral du paracetamol. Uh, the third um, uh, piece of good practice would be that Troisième when he is moved, uh, it's done as carefully as possible. Il convient um, de le uh, and I think that that's already uh, the case possible. that people move him very carefully. Um, and, um, 
uh, without too much uh, disruption to his his uh, his back. Ne lui cause pas trop de douleur lombaire. Council, thank you very much uh, for responding to all the questions. I have no further questions. Merci beaucoup d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Je vais terminer pour ma part. Mais ma consoeur souhaiterait à son tour vous poser quelques questions. Merci. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges. Bonjour à tous. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Et bonjour good à vous, Messieurs les Experts. Honors, good morning. J'ai un très petit nombre de questions à vous parties. poser. And good afternoon to you, experts. I have a very few questions. Brief questions. Je voudrais vous poser une première question qui concerne la double cataracte de Monsieur Nunchea. A word relate to Mr. Nunchea's cataracts. You state that he has bilateral cataracts. Que l'opération de la cataracte est quelque chose d'assez simple. Operating on these cataracts would be rather straightforward. La vision, c'est quelque chose qui permet de rester impliqué, pouvoir lire des documents. C'est quelque chose qui permet d'être impliqué. C'est mieux que de se faire dire les choses par quelqu'un d'autre. And it would also be preferable to have some documents read to him. Is there a reason why such an operation has not been administered on Mr. Nunchia? It was evidently considered earlier, but uh, not gone ahead with. But we could not find the reasoning behind that. He did have cataracts removed. It would take a significant time before he was ready for reading. And the more practical solution would be to have the documents in large print, have them on tape, and have them read to him. D'enregistrer le contenu du document ou bien de lui donner lecture de ce contenu. Bonjour, merci. Est-ce que je peux déduire de votre réponse que vous ne préconisez pas cette opération Réponse, therefore, that you do not favor an operation on his cataracts. Réponse. I wouldn't consider myself qualified to comment on that. It would need to be a decision by an ophthalmologist, someone who examined the eyes more fully than I was able to with the equipment I had available. Mieux que moi, avec du meilleur matériel, examiner les yeux de l'intéressé. Je vous remercie. Thank you very much. Ma deuxième question concerne votre rédaction en commun de ce rapport d'expertise. Vous aboutissez à des conclusions qui sont communes. Est-ce que vous êtes totalement d'accord entre vous sur ces conclusions ou bien est-ce qu'il y a eu des points de désaccord Were there any points of disagreement between you two gentlemen? There were no points of disagreement. Réponse: Il n'y a pas eu de points de désaccord. That's right. There were no points of disagreement. Fazel, effectivement, pas de points de désaccord. Je vous remercie pour cette réponse très claire. Thank you very much for that very clear answer. Une troisième question sur un tout autre sujet. Vous avez entendu mon confrère qui a insisté sur la possible présence de M. Nunchea en audience, et non pas seulement dans la cellule de détention. Et je pense que vous avez compris que cette présence pouvait avoir une importance certaine, notamment pour les parties civiles, et aussi sans doute pour le public. Afin que les choses soient très claires, so that we are all absolutely clear on the matter, can you please summarize before this chamber les raisons Before everyone present, qui vous paraissent empêcher that would sa présence en audience, Mr. autrement dit, les raisons pour lesquelles vous préconisez plutôt la cellule de détention. In other words, de telle façon, que, why you would de telle façon que ces raisons soient clairement et explicitement données aux personnes qui vous écoutent. Most clear and explicit for those who are following your testimony. I think if he had to sit in the court, he would find that more uncomfortable and more difficult to sustain over a period of the court sitting. If he were able to lie in court, then that might be a possibility. S'il pouvait s'allonger dans le prétoire, ce serait une possibilité.
Est-ce que l'expert, est-ce qu'on pourrait redonner le, le micro à M. Fazel pour qu'il puisse exprimer son avis Could you please hand the microphone over to Dr. so that he may provide his answer Um, the, 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 there's one other consideration, which is that um, the holding cell does um, provide the opportunity for immediate um, medical support in the sense that, for instance, if he was asking for some uh, pain relief, uh, he could be provided it. So that's one other um, consideration is Ça just the availability of donc un autre um, à prendre en compte, uh, medical support que là, uh, in the holding cell. Est disponible dans cette cellule temporaire. Je remercie. En ce qui me concerne, je n'ai pas d'autres well, questions. Thank you. As far as I'm concerned, I have no further questions. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Bah, bon, hey. Le président. The president. Thank you, councils. Merci. We Maître. would like uh, now to hand over to councils uh, for va être Mr. Nunchi because the chamber noted at the beginning that Comme at the end uh, the chamber would like uh, to hand the floor over to councils of uh, la défense de Nuanchea a l'occasion de formuler des like observations so. finales, le cas échéant. Count so Sonarun. Maître Sonarun. Good afternoon, Mr. President, again, and good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon bon to you, nouveau, both uh, professors. I have no further questions on this, but we would like to have our final question observation on behalf of Par contre, Mr. Nunti, faire des observations the President. Thank you, Council, but uh, that moment has not yet arrived. Le Président. Merci, Maître, mais ce moment n'est pas Council, encore arrivé. Uh, with that, I have no further questions, Mr. President. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions, Mr. President. Uh, le président. Thank you very much. Le président. Merci uh, beaucoup. Session on the examination La partie de l'audience consacrée by au rapport regarding the health and médicale. Fitness of Mr. Nuanchea stand trial now de almost comes to an end. Fin. The chamber also notes the presence of uh, the experts and that uh, you are now excused. Uh, we believe that your report and testimony would be very helpful for the chamber to consider the health and fitness of Mr. Nguyen and on behalf of the trial chamber, we would like uh, to express our profound Thank La Chambre you vous to remercie sincèrement both professors, Professor Campbell and Fazel, Campbell for doing your Fazel. professional best uh, Merci and d'avoir been mis very en patient in responding votre tâche. to all the questions merci put to you, preuve de patience and we appreciate à toutes les questions qui vous ont your été very valuable time. We know that you have traveled all the way from your countries d'être venu to conduct de si loin the assessment I pour procéder à cette ordered by évaluation. the chamber. Finally, the chamber would like uh, to wish you Conformément all the very best de la chambre. safe trip back home. Un bon Court officer is now vous. instructed to Assist um, d'audience. Both professors and make sure Veuillez that uh, prendre les dispositions nécessaires pour que les deux experts home, puissent rentrer chez eux.
The President, next. I wish to hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chi uh, to make your final closing statement on the first topic of the hearing today. You may proceed. Council Sun Arun. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. By way of concluding this topic, in my capacity as the defense lawyer for Mr. Nguyen Chia, first, based on the report of the expert dated the 20th of March 2013, two, pursuant to the hearing, the oral hearing of the two experts seen this morning, it is clear that my client is still suffering from many ailments, including hypertension, the inflammation, Flame respiratory uh, system, back pain, du système respiratoire, des douleurs lombaires, as well as um, other diseases, including uh, the uh, deteriorating dizziness. Notamment These ailments and uh, health problems seriously affect the concentration of Tout my client in following the proceedings. In addition, uh, his physical strength has um, deteriorated as well, Sa and this is in line with the uh, oral uh, testimony of the witness uh, that, uh, of the expert, rather, that uh, once his physical strength is uh, diminished, then his cognitive function is consistently diminished. And this seriously affects the memory as well as the concentration of Mr. Nguyen Chia. Based on these grounds, even if my client is subject to trial and he is brought to the holding cell downstairs where donc, equipment is uh, installed for him to follow the proceeding, I find that it is uh, meaningless because he cannot concentrate uh, on the uh, proceeding and he does not have the ability to plea. And I only see that uh, he, if, you ask, if you insist that uh, he comes, then he only comes as per your orders. He cannot follow anything at all. And the experts also uh, found that my uh, client is suffering from many ailments. The expert should ask the chamber uh, to order the uh, examination, particularly if possible and if it deems appropriate. It, it, my client should be placed under treatment until he is well enough to uh, participate in the proceeding. At this juncture, I would like to earnestly request to the chamber that my client be referred to the hospital uh, to get his uh, diseases and ailments treated properly before he is ordered to participate in the proceedings. So long as my client is still suffering from the ailments and so long as his health status is as worse as the day, Tant he cannot hear properly, he mots, does not have the level of concentration good enough uh, to follow the proceeding, I consider, consider this as a violation of the right to fair trial of my client. Thank you. President. How about the International uh, Council? Do you have anything to add to your national le colleague? President, le Conseil international de la Défense, a-t-il quelque chose à ajouter? The President, thank you. Le then, uh, if Merci. you do not have anything si to add, I hand over the floor to the prosecutor uh, to make the final closing statement in relation to the first topic of the hearing today. You may proceed. Premier sujet de audience.
d'aujourd'hui. Vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Um, let me start first by responding to uh, what can, the assertions made by uh, Mr. Nunez's counsel. Uh, these assertions are inconsistent with the testimony and report uh, from the experts uh, that we just heard, to put it simply. Um, it is true that his client has a history of hypertension, one of the uh, conditions he just said. However, as indicated in the report, his hypertension or blood, uh, uh, blood uh, pressure is under control. Uh, the recent uh, blood pressure uh, from his uh, examination is within normal range. Uh, there, this is not a disease. Uh, the doctors have made clear that in any way affects his ability or his fitness to participate. The uh, respiratory condition relating to his bronchitis uh, has been treated. Uh, he has recovered from that. And as for other things of which he complains or which counsel has pointed out, such as the physical strength of his client, uh, dizziness, exemple, matters such as this. La force physique, uh, les Dr. Campbell's opinion sur ces was that this was Campbell the result of the accused inactivity, que cela des, uh, des something that he has the ability to change or to improve qui if he wishes to make the effort si uh, to have some form of rehab, some form of physical activity. Form he, in terms of the request that his client be treated until he is well enough to participate, La de treated du for what would be my response. Que son uh, des the doctors ma uh, have made clear that uh, the existing medication and treatment is sufficient for his problems and that suffisant his conditions are stable. The uh, question, I think, for your honors is what has changed since your prior finding that Nunchea is fit to stand trial. La question que l'on doit se poser, in terms of his physical condition, par rapport à la dernière fois où vous avez prononcé Dr. Uh, apte à être jugé. Dr. Campbell has been clear Le that Campbell his condition is stable. Son état his cardiovascular stable. condition has remained stable since 2007. He is not suffering any uh, significant ramifications from his 1995 stroke. Uh, there is simply no change in his physical condition, physical condition that would warrant uh, a change to the fitness decision previously made by this court. What has changed, I would note, of significance since your last decision is that Nunchea has now been subject to a full uh, mental evaluation, mental health evaluation uh, by Dr. Fiza. You'll recall that uh, uh, during the uh, prior period, um, following the advice of his client, Nunchea refused to meet with Dr. Fiza, and as a result, they were unable, unable to conduct uh, examinations and perform uh, the tests that they have now been able to perform. So if there is anything that has changed, it is that, it is that the court now has a detailed report from the experts, which confirms by any possible measure uh, that with regard to his mental health, he is fit to participate. He has scored high on all the objective exams conducted and subjectively in terms of his interview with the doctors, it is clear that he meets the criteria. He was able to participate in interviews lasting several hours. He was able to respond to all questions. And more importantly, it, was, it is crystal clear from the report that he understands the nature of proceedings and is able to participate in his defense. So our submission would be uh, that uh, not only has nothing changed since your prior decision that would warrant finding him unfit, that the record supporting his fitness to participate is even stronger now. Thank you for the opportunity to make submissions.
The President, thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Now I hand over the floor to the lead co lawyer for the civil parties to make your final statement. Counsel Hong Kim Soon. Good afternoon, Mr. President. And good afternoon, Your Honours. On behalf of the lawyers for the civil parties, given the fact that uh, we have waited for a long time for justice to be done, and actually, not only are the civil parties waiting for justice, but the uh, the defendant uh, themselves uh, wants the justice uh, to be done uh, expeditiously, but uh, taking into consideration their health, uh, it is of our collective concerns. According to the report uh, submitted by the expert, the two experts, uh, Professor John Campbell, uh, document E256-4, this is a very well comprehensive uh, report. Et un rapport exhaustif. The defense uh, team's rejection uh, to this report is groundless and unsubstantiated because I don't see any uh, reason why, uh, why uh, this report uh, should be disregarded because uh, these two experts are internationally competent uh, to uh, carry out uh, their function. They have uh, accumulated experience in this, and they have been very objective in their assessment. And their report is quite comprehensive and detailed, particularly uh, they uh, administer certain tests, uh, standard die tests, for example, the one administered in the Struga case. And Mr. Insari, uh, Mr. rather Mr. Nunjie, is found to be fit Et to stand trial, and his health is not that serious that he cannot attend and follow the proceedings. Si and as for the uh, request by the defense team, uh, that Mr. Nuentier be placed under a treatment program for a certain period until his health condition returned to normal, according to them, uh, is utterly inappropriate. Mr. John Campbell is not only a competent individual, but he is also a, a jury addition. And if, of course, we look at uh, Nuentier, he is now 86 years of age, and in terms of his cataract, if you find that him, find him difficult to uh, read or to see something, that is not highly unusual for people at his age. If you look at the details of the two reports, uh, particularly his uh, conclusion, uh, he does not a recommend to the chambers that uh, any uh, situation is changed uh, for Mr. Nguyen uh, to follow the proceeding. Uh, they only request that Mr. Nguyen uh, remains in the holding cell downstairs to follow the proceeding because he, when he lies down, uh, it, it is not an issue for him. So by staying there, uh, probably he can follow uh, the proceedings smoothly, and that will perhaps expedite the proceedings. Les audiences depuis cette cellule de détention temporaire, ce qui rendra la procédure plus efficace. For these reasons, the civil party lawyers are of the opinion that uh, the expert medical report uh, by Professor John Campbell and Dr. Sina Fazol is comprehensive and est un rapport exhaustif appropriate. Therefore, the civil parties would like to request uh, to the chamber to uh, proceed uh, along uh, its uh, schedule so that the trial be uh, progressing uh, smoothly. And Mr. Nguyen Chie has uh, made it very clear that uh, he wants to follow the proceeding uh, by himself and he wants to participate in the proceeding. And at times he wanted uh, to make oral statements as well. 
And if the defense lawyer says that Mr. Nguyen Chia's health is deteriorating, uh, this, is, uh, this has to be supported by uh, experts' opinion. And according to these experts, who are well qualified and competent experts, uh, affirms uh, that uh, he is fit enough uh, to stand uh, trial and ask. Uh, but the expert also take into consideration the fact of his uh, health status at this uh, age. And finally, according to the um, paragraph 44 of this report that Nguyen Chia wanted to tell the truth uh, to the public, I, on behalf of the civil party, uh, will be very pleased to hear uh, his statement of the truth. And we actually uh, support uh, this assertion, and we want him to come forward uh, to tell the truth. We have nothing to request but to ask the trial chamber to proceed expeditiously. Thank you. The President, you may proceed. Oui, quelques mots pour d'abord indiquer que je partage l'avis de Monsieur le Procureur et bien sûr aussi les propos qui viennent d'être tenus par mon confrère au nom des partis civils. Je voudrais simplement, pour conclure, souligner que malgré les tentatives de notre confrère de la défense de Nunchea, il est clair que les conclusions de ses experts sur l'aptitude à être jugé de Nunchea sont tout à fait claires. Elles sont totalement partagées entre eux et elles sont très argumentées. Donc je crois que selon les critères jurisprudentiels, l'aptitude à être jugé ne fait pas de doute au terme de ce rapport. En ce qui concerne la santé physique de M. Nunchea, c'est vrai qu'il est âgé, c'est ce que nous rappelle avec une évidence certaine les experts, mais ils ont souligné aussi que l'état physique de M. Nunchea était stabilisé et qu'il n'y avait aucun empêchement à sa participation à son procès, participation d'ailleurs qu'il revendique, comme l'a rappelé mon confrère. En revanche, il reste la question des aménagements auxquels songe la Chambre. Vous avez noté que les parties civiles sont bien sûr désireuses de la présence de M. Nunchea pour des raisons qui sont d'ailleurs aussi évidentes. En même temps, les parties civiles sont désireuses que ce procès avance et qu'il ne soit pas perturbé par de multiples problèmes, notamment liés à la présence ou non de M. Nunchea. Donc si la Chambre envisage des aménagements, nous y sommes favorables si cela permet de poursuivre avec régularité les audiences sans incident. Et nous pensons qu'il est important que Nunchea se rende à la cellule de détention, parce que c'est une démarche positive de participation au procès et que cette démarche positive est importante aussi pour les parties civiles et sans doute pour le public. Donc nous pensons qu'il doit venir dans la cellule de détention et non pas rester dans le centre de détention. Et enfin, nous aimerions faire une suggestion à la Chambre, compte tenu de l'importance, encore une fois, pour les parties civiles, d'avoir l'impression que M. Nunchia veut effectivement participer à ce procès. Nous pensons qu'une possibilité serait qu'au début de chaque audience, matin et après-midi, il y ait une vue de M. Nunchea qui soit présenté en audience aux partis civils et au public pour qu'il y ait une véritable impression que M. Nunchea est bien présent, qu'il souhaite écouter et qu'il souhaite participer à son procès. Nous ne pensons pas que techniquement ce soit très difficile et nous pensons que cette seule vue de sa présence attentive en début d'audience serait de nature à démontrer cette participation. The civil parties and the public to see him at the beginning of the proceedings would be a very good thing. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 
I hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Nguyen uh, to Nguyen make the final reply if you wish to. You may proceed. Counsel Sonarin. May it please the court, I would like to reply briefly to the civil party lawyers. As far as Mr. Nguyen Chia is concerned, and in my capacity as his defense lawyer, I have consulted with him and I have worked with him very closely. I am not a treating doctor, of course, but I have visited him on a daily basis. Now, I understand for the fact that one ailment that he is suffering from is the back pain, and the expert did not elaborate on this point. He can not even sit upright. When he gets up for just five minutes, he collapses. That is the serious health condition he is suffering. And even if he is lying down, when he listens to people talking at a lengthy period, then he becomes diseased immediately. That's why I was requesting to the experts that uh, they uh, recommend uh, the treatment program uh, for him, and the expert failed uh, to make any recommendation. I am suggesting that we need uh, to find another expert in order to institute any treatment program for him. I know that everyone is waiting for uh, justice. Uh, everyone wants to see the conclusion of this uh, trial, but the conclusion has to be fair. And we also want it to be expeditious as well. It is not at our advantage to prolong the proceeding. It is my conclusion that if Mr. Nguyen Jir, uh health status is improved, then I believe that he will be responsive to the trial. Whenever you ask him questions, he will be responsive to your question. As the civil party made it clear earlier on that uh, they want to hear the uh, statement from Mr. Nguyen Chia. They wanted to hear the truth. So I also want to hear the truth. I also want my client to be able to speak uh, in the court. So I would like to suggest to the court uh, that so long as we have any treatment programs that improve his health and he can fully participate in the proceeding. In other words, if his health condition improves, uh, even if he can sit for, say, half an hour, it is also even better. But today, his condition does not allow. I thank you very much, Mr. President. The President, thank you. Uh, the next session, we will deal with the second topic of the hearing concerning the uh, consequence of the decision concerning the uh, severance of K002. And the uh, chamber is, uh, will render the decision concerning the uh, reason decision on severance. But now the chamber wishes to adjourn and we will resume at 3. The chamber is now 22-3 rather. Uh,